What's up guys, how y'all doing today? Today I want to talk about kind of a hot button topic, something that a lot of people are talking about these days, and that is mental health. But more importantly than mental health, how do you balance taking care of your mental health while also hustling and achieving success? Because they're kind of opposite sides of the spectrum. I know for myself, for many, many, many years, I have neglected my mental health and neglected my own sanity uh, for the sake of, of getting where I currently am. And uh, I think it's important to talk about that. I think it's important to talk about how I would have done things differently or the best way to handle this from the perspective of someone who's kind of gotten through it and, and like looking back on my state of mental health throughout my journey to where I am now. So I haven't had uh, a weekend off or taken a weekend trip in four years, and that was just like a three-day weekend quick quick trip, uh, and I have not had a, an actual vacation in 11 years since my honeymoon. My honeymoon 11 years ago was the last time I had an actual vacation, and it is the only real vacation I've ever had in my entire life. Just a day or two a month off for many, many, many years now has really, it's really taken a toll on me. But you didn't come here to hear me uh, talk about that necessarily. What I am going to do is go on vacation, like right now, I'm leaving right now. We're going to go on vacation for the first time in 11 years, and uh, I hope that you stick around with me on this journey. It'll be a quick journey as far as the video is concerned, and then we're going to talk about all this mental health stuff and how to balance it. Here we go. Let's let's go to the beach and recharge a little bit. <laughs> So Drunk I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high Floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing We're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip Trip, trip, now Trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. It's finally beach time. Oh, I wasted. City lights are shining so bright. All these empty faces. We don't care about them tonight. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels, don't stop turning. I know we're acting stupid. Oh, man, that was so unbelievably necessary. Lots and lots of beach time, lots and lots of seafood. <laughs> so I've had some pretty serious time to reflect on this and, and to gather my thoughts on this subject now. And uh, I've come to some interesting thoughts, I think, about the subject on how to preserve your mental health while on the path to success. Now, what's interesting to me is there's people out there like Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk who are famously working 16, 18 hours a day and have been doing so for decades and decades. Elon Musk was famous for living in his office and not even like sleeping in his office. And this is just crazy to me. That's probably, that's like another level that, that I can't really wrap my head around uh, when we're talking about like hustling hard and like the, the balance between mental health and working hard to become successful. That's a different thing. So we're going to skip th that whole world of, of hustling that hard once you're a billionaire. Like that's, let's talk about people like me and you. Okay, so the conclusion that I've come up with here is that if you have a pure hustle over here and you have pure mental health over here, so pure hustle, pure work, pure driven for success, 
complete neglect of your mental health is probably in that working 16 or 18 hours a day, seven days a week, just never stopping, work, 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 work. And in my mind, like the pure mental health side of things, like zero hustle, zero uh, focus on your level of success, this is, this is where I just was on vacation. <laughs> Different for each one of us, obviously, but it's, it's beach time and it's relaxation and zero stress and zero commitments and like that's pure mental health. So the thing that I haven't really heard anyone talk about, almost all of us are required to spend our days somewhere between these two points of like hustle, work hard, success, and pure focus on our mental health. But I think the important thing is that we're all extremely conscious of where we are on this scale and where it's appropriate for us to be on this scale for the given level of success that we have and for the place in life that we are. This is the part that I don't really hear people talk about. There's just a lot of talk, and rightfully so. There's a lot of talk about like mental health, mental health, we have to protect our mental health, and yes, that's very true. However, in my opinion, opinion, at least for my own path and my own success, I didn't have the luxury of focusing on my mental health in the early years of my career. It, it just wasn't an option when I'm trying to figure out how to pay for food that day or how to get my power turned back on or my water turned back on. I really do want to drive this point home because I think it's important. The quantity of times in my early, early 20s, late like 18 to 23, the quantity of times like I came home and the power was turned off at my at where I lived and I didn't have the money to turn it back on. Like, like that sort of stuff happened more times than I can count. And so when you're in those places of struggle like that and, you know, it's, it's impossible to focus on mental health because you're just trying to survive. I was just trying to survive those early years. So zero focus on mental health, like zero, zero. How can I work harder? How can I hustle harder? How can I get more clients, more gigs, more? I was doing all sorts of stuff back then, but how, how do I just more, more success, harder work, more done in a day so that way I can eat. Oh man. So that way I can eat. And so that way I can not have my power turned off. Now, back then it's much easier to be in this place because I didn't have kids. I didn't have a family. Uh, I didn't even have a girlfriend for a, a chunk of that time. I didn't have a mortgage. I didn't have a car payment. You know what I mean? It's much, much easier to live over here when there's so much less uh, responsibility maybe. And you can just hammer down work. Now, what's interesting to me is building something like what I have built here for myself and building any sort of successful business takes an astronomical amount of time. It takes a crazy amount of time to build your skill set to even be able to do the job competently enough to become successful. It takes a crazy amount of time to do enough networking and to have enough quantity, a high enough quantity of clients and people willing to hire you uh, to become successful. This all takes an insane amount of hard work and an insane amount of time. Here's the part that I don't hear people talk about. I think it's important to do that and to be willing to focus on that and kind of maybe not focus very much or in my case, not at all on mental health because I didn't have the option to. But then as this thing starts working, as your business starts to grow and your skill set starts to develop and your quantity of clients really starts to grow and develop and your business starts to gain some momentum, I don't I don't want to say that that's when it's time to take your foot off the gas because there's a there's a real solid argument that that's when it's time to like pedal to the metal floor it when you're just starting to feel some momentum that's when it's time to double down and like push that business along but then simultaneously that's when it's okay to start taking one day a month off two days a month off couple weekends a year off like once things start to move I think that this scale of like hard work and hustle to mental health, you have to be conscious of where you are in this scale and what's appropriate for the level of success that you're trying to achieve. Mental health is extremely important and this vacation really opened my eyes to how necessary that, that it is for me now in this stage in my life with a kid and a wife
life and a house and a studio. Wonderful YouTube channel. Thank you guys all so much for subscribing and commenting and sharing the videos. It means the world to me. On this scale, I'm certainly somewhere in the middle now where I can focus equally on my mental health as I can on hustle and building, continuing to build what it is that I have going on here. Now, I was probably in this place a few years ago, uh, but <clears throat> my wife has stuck by my side and had my back through a bunch of those hard years. She has been around and kept me afloat many, many times back in the day when I was coming up. And so even though I've kind of been where I currently am for a few years, she was in full-time nursing school for years and has graduated, passed her state exam. I'm so proud of her. That's part of what the vacation was about, uh, was like she passed her state exam, accepted a job in the ICU, and we had a little window in which we could go on vacation. My point is that it was time for me to give back to her and, and let her hustle and work really hard. And boy, did she neglect her mental health throughout this path. And it's kind of very similar to, to what I had been through. When she's going through nursing school, there, there isn't time to focus on your mental health because you got to study 16 hours a day or you're going to fail. And now that she's graduated, same situation I'm in, and this is what I'm hoping to pass along to you guys. Now that she's graduated, accepted a job, now she can start floating from that hard work and hustle and building something, floating somewhere over towards the mental health side. And then we can, we can start taking care of ourselves while we continue to work hard and build something. So what I would like you all to do and what I think is the, the most value that I can give to you through this video is take some inventory of where you are right now in your life. What level of success are you and how hard do you have to work in order to continue the growth rate that you'd like to see? Because this is all different for, this is different for each and every one of us. And then use that as the barometer so that way you can balance mental health with the that and obviously this is different if you have a family and kids and big life responsibilities this is going to be a lot different than an 18 year old who's who has no responsibilities whatsoever and if you are that 18 year old that 20 year old and you don't have a wife and kids and a mortgage and all of that stuff take take full advantage of that and work hard because your ability to sustain those crazy amount of hours that ability gets less and less as you work your way through your life and you become older, <laughs> you become older and less able uh, or less willing, whichever the case may be, to work that many hours and to hustle that hard. I really hope that this helped you guys find some sort of balance between between your growth and your skill set and your business and then also protecting your mental state. It is a topic that that is talked about a lot right now, and I think it's important, but I also think it's important to find the balance between your mental health and the hustle, because a lot of people right now are just mental health, mental health, mental health, and that, that's great, but you, ha you don't want to sacrifice your level of success, and I think that that's great, but it has to be in balance. As with all things in life, it has to be a balance. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I know we're acting stupid.